we got a federal grant, $1.7 million safer grant uh, that will bring back some fire people. Uh, we got some issues with people that, that don't want it and some do want it. And, and, and what after the question is what after the, the grant runs out after the third year, the city's got an option to pick up on it. Well, here's what I told him at the meeting. I said, it's free money. And if I hire Charlie Copeland and say, look, we, we're taking uh, applications for fire people, firemen, or fire persons. But let me explain to you right now, with the economy the way it is, let me explain to you right now. After this grant runs out, you may not have a job. Well, for two years, I'll have a job. I'll be able to add to the, add to the, to the economy. I'll be able to take care of my family. I'll be able to pay my bills. I'll be able to save me some money. And I'm going to be able to get some of the finest training as a firefighter in the country or the northeast area. And so I may get lucky if, I, if they don't hold up after the grant goes out. Around the country, they're looking for firemen everywhere, in right. small little hick towns and to, to large cities. So you train me to go take my talent somewhere else. So I've been trying to say to my colleagues, we need to vote on this, and we need to say yes to this, because it's not about anything but the safety of the city. Well, it's and I have a friend of mine who's a, who's a Marine, and he said, you know, Charlie, as a Marine, you know what my job is? My job is to take that hill. Once I take that hill, then I can worry about the next hill. Yeah. But right now, I, I'm not worried about the second one. I'm worried about the first That's one. That's right. And, and as you lay it out, you, you've, got, uh, you've got a need for firefighters. That's right. Uh, and and uh, you've got an opportunity to expand the force for at least two years and maybe more. Um, and so what's not to like about that? And like you said, as long as you're honest with the applicants that's right. and say this is what the story is, the funding that's paying your salary is coming from this source and we only have it for a couple of years, Recognize that uh, you know this. The city you know, may not be able to pick up on, your, on the options. We would like to, but we can't make any guarantees. And it saves five hundred thousand dollars in overtime that we'd be paying out to the farmers. Right. We're going to be saving five hundred thousand dollars. We're going to be cutting into this budget. We're going to be talking about in a few minutes. We're going to be saving five hundred thousand dollars that the farmers have that, that comes up in overtime. And you 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 bring in some folks into the city, who are community minded leaders. That's right as firefighters. That's right. They are role models for other people around. And the law says you got to be in the city five years as an employee. So you get devil's taxes, you get the property taxes, you get the wage taxes. You get, you know what I mean? So we, we, it's a win-win situation.